We don't want any more visitors, well wishes, or distant relations. And what about very old friends? The final song, it, it, it's, it's a big thing in all of the movies. We started The Hobbit with Neil Finn. Far over the misty mountains rise. And we had Ed Sheeran for film two. And I see fire inside the mountain. When Peter and Fran were looking for a final song for the Battle of the Five Armies, it's that very powerful emotive sense of, OK, well, this time it's the last goodbye. The song at the end of the film, it has to close out the Hobbit trilogy, but it also it is for us the handing over from the Hobbit to the Lord of the Rings trilogy. But it has a double meaning in that it is the end of six movies. Bilbo Baggins. Well, dear God, no. Early on in the process of thinking about how we play this film out, we wanted to do the vignettes, the beautiful drawings on the end titles, as we did at the end of Return of the King. So, of course, it had to be Alan Lee and John Howe, because they know those characters better than anyone. There seems to be an abundance of hair and beards. This is one of the better looking dwarves, I think, though. And it's also my last drawing. Too much of a scar. This is the official cast, as it will appear in the movies. End title song performed by somebody. What this song required was somebody who could bridge the end of The Hobbit with the beginning of The Lord of the Rings. Someone who was kind of woven into the fabric of The Lord of the Rings. And they used uh, Edge of Night, Billy singing Edge of Night, over the very first trailer for The Battle of the Five Armies. Home is behind the world ahead. Emotionally, I think, it resonated with a lot of the fans. Reprising that song that Pippin sings in The Return of the King when Denethor calls upon him to give him a song. Can you sing, Master Hobbit? Billy actually, people don't know this, he's a very good songwriter in and of his own right. Billy's got a, a band called Bee Cake. Great band, great singer. So he's got musical ability. The melody that was created that Pippin sings in The Lord of the Rings, Billy came up with the basis of that melody the night before we shot it. Mist and shadows, cloud and shade, all shall fade. So he's very musical and he has a beautiful voice. So Billy Boyd became a very obvious choice. We wanted Billy to do it because it is, for us, it was the handing over from The Hobbit to the Fellowship of the Ring, of which he's obviously a very significant part of the trilogy that's about to come. Where are we going? Is that a course up? Is that too close? Is that, is that... Billy came down, began working on it with Fran. It's quite a personal thought. It's coming from Bill, but speaking to the experiences of the character, and yet at the same time, the song is, it is our farewell as well as his. We knew that it was going to be the voice of Bilbo, finally, to end these films on. Night is now falling So ends this day How do we build it? How do we talk about Bilbo talking about his fallen friends and but then talk about the road and, and have the Shire in there and have the world of Tolkien, you know? So that's what we're trying to work out today. My involvement was, it was just a case of, they got a bit stuck with the lyrics. <laughs> and so I went racing over to their house, where we normally work, Fran and I. That space was taken up by Peter, who was busy watching footage being played down on screens. So we ended up writing the lyrics in their bathroom, <laughs> which acoustically actually is great. It's got a great sound. And then Billy came in here with me to, to do the demo recording, essentially. We spent about two weeks, maybe, here in this room. And we recorded, on average, like a new version of the song every day. Maybe twice a day sometimes. It was great. It was great fun. Just give me this shot while we're here. Yes. Oh. The very first day that he came in here, 
before we recorded a note of music, I was suffering from a bad back. And he said, oh, I'll show you some yoga moves. <laughs> Come on, lie down on the floor with me. I'm like, great. <laughs> Immediately, my back starts to feel better. And I was just like, this is going to be great. <laughs> this is going to be a great two weeks. <laughs> yeah, it looks super relaxed, super candid. I love it. Great. Not tired at all. Here, close up. Ah. <laughs> Howard Shaw, he suggested Victoria Kelly to orchestrate and arrange the song. She's, I think, the finest film composer in this country. He'll be doing it musically as I'm <laughs> doing it mouthily. Yes. Mouthily, is that a word? The musical language of the song is very personal. It has that beautiful folky Celtic flavour and we'll be reinforcing that with beautiful Celtic instruments. Then we went to Auckland, to Neil Finn's studio around here, beautiful studio. Oh, I'm just at the moment just laying down some very, very sparse piano textures, so just little notes that can just be left to ring, so that we've got that lovely kind of resonance sound of the piano just filling in texture in the background. That lovely resonance. It's difficult because we're trying to get a kind of Hobbity sound, shyer, but yet still keep the world of Middle Earth. And you know, it's difficult how to get the mix right. But I think Victoria's doing a lovely job of bringing in the right instruments and great players. And I think we're really getting there, you know. Then it was time to record the strings and the other instruments at Abbey Road. We had about 60 players play Victoria's arrangement, which was beautiful. That. So, should we time. do a little, yeah. yeah? After that, we were ready to record Billy's vocal performance. And we took Billy into the ADR room, Park Road Post, where we oh. recorded the dialogue throughout the three films. It's mine to protect. And we did a lot of recording in the ADR room because Billy was about to hop on the plane the next day. Right. We didn't have a chance to redo it, so we needed to make sure we had it all covered. So Billy did five or six takes of the song all the way through. I saw the light fade from the sky. On the wind I heard a sigh. I bid you all a very fond farewell. That was lovely. Nailed it. Done. No. No, nope, not nailed it. <laughs> Everyone, see we are. <laughs> then we did something that I don't think I've ever done before or seen done before in a recording studio. OK, by silver streams that run down to the sea. Yeah, I just want you doing to the sea. Oh, just to the sea? Yeah. It's just that one line. I was getting carried away. To the sea. We went in on pretty much every single line and just recorded different versions of every line, word. Another one. Thank you. And sometimes down to syllables. That's it. That'll do it. That's good. Just so that we had flexibility in terms of putting together the performance that was right for the song. Is now calling and I must away. The time he'd spent doing ADR with Peter and Fran on The Lord of the Rings as an actor served him well. Another one, please. Billy was used to doing a fair amount of takes, but giving options because it's all about having flexibility. I'm, I'm trying to do it as a sort of dreamy image. Right. Dan. On the cloud beneath the stars, over snow. That was just next level because he was in there in front of a microphone singing for close to nine hours straight. And that's amazing. I cannot tell. Another one, please. It was close to 430 takes. 430 takes. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 Time for the second verse. Here we go. <laughs> Night is now falling. It's important that we somehow touch on not only Battle of the Five Armies, but also the themes of Tolkien. It was about home, the need for Bilbo to turn for home his understanding that in doing so he's leaving behind everything that he shared with these people and that's how I think we felt with the audience who've lived through these and followed these films for the last 14 years. Hello. 
is the final farewell to the fans. And so really the song is as much written for, for the fans who have been so supportive of us as it is to anything. Fran knew that this was about saying goodbye, understanding that your part in the story, that your part in that journey is done and that you have to separate, you have to say goodbye. It's a goodbye from Middle Earth. It's a goodbye from the people who created Middle Earth. <laughs> it's quite an emotional thing, isn't it? I bid you a fond, very yeah. know, farewell. But sort of for a lot of us, this has been a, quite a journey. Yeah, it really you know is. I mean? <laughs> hey. And that's been the struggle of this song for the last two weeks, is trying to incorporate all of that into a verse, bridge, pre-chorus and chorus, you know what I mean? <laughs> what a responsibility. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we came all this way. But now comes a day to bid you farewell. I feel good. <laughs>